Well, we are so excited to bring to you Fox News legal editor, former spokesman for the Justice Department under former President Trump, the one and only <laughs> Kerry Kupek Urban. Kerry, it's good to see you. Good to see you. So you were inside the courtroom mm -hmm. yesterday for former President Trump's testimony in that quarter billion dollar uh, New York fraud, civil fraud trial. What, what's your reaction? What, what do you really think about what's going on? I were to give you the headline out of yesterday, I would say the fix is in. The way they are applying the law against the former president in a way they have never applied the law to anyone else in New York State. Our brain room found that. We have lawyers on that research team. They said they could not find a single instance of New York prosecuting and convicting someone for inflating their real estate value, uh, the assets, without a victim. That's what's happening here. The way the attorney general has been conducting herself is also highly unusual, inappropriate, even attending trial each day. AGs don't attend trials. They have a lot going on, and they're doing that on the taxpayer's dime. So for her to be setting aside everything she has to be doing every day as she does her job in New York to just sit there and smile and make statements to the press, is just, it's so unusual, this whole thing. Do you, are you depressed by it? I mean, let me back up. Do you feel like he's, you said the fix is in. Do you feel like he's getting railroaded? I do, I really do. Um, I felt badly for him. I, I thought, I thought he did a good job. I thought he was smart. I thought he was sharp. Uh, you really saw that business side of him come out. And the two points that he kept coming back to was first, if anything, I undervalued my properties now, of course, and that's very Trump-like, but I think there is something to be said for that, given the fact that this court, or I'm sorry, the AG's office found that Mar-a-Lago is valued at $18 million. That's laughable. I, anybody looking at Mar-a-Lago knows it's not $18 million. Now, Trump has said it's worth $1 billion. I don't know. Maybe it's something in the middle, but it's certainly not $18 million. So he was very angry at, in court telling uh, the judge they haven't done their job. They don't know how to value properties. They haven't done this. Why did they not do this properly? And the second point he kept coming back to was that with each uh, statement of financial condition, this is the thing that you submit to the bank to say, hey, look, this is what the property is valued at. And this is where all the contention, right? This is where it lies. Uh, he said that there is a disclaimer on page one, and it's throughout the entire statement that says, this is our position, but you have to do your due diligence. You have to do your own analysis. And really, if you don't, it's on you. And these banks took these statements, and they went forward with giving them the loans, and that was that. So, you know, it just feels like this is an understatement to say. They're, they're using a novel interpretation of a consumer statute to try to take someone's entire financial empire and business away. I mean, this New York judge, he also gets to, to decide on his own mm -hmm. whether Trump should be hit with this quarter billion dollar penalty and forfeit all his properties. I mean, the judge is the jury. He's judge and jury on this, and Trump is now demanding and jury. I mean, we're in the penalty phase, right? He already ruled in a partial summary judgment mm -hmm. that, yeah, the assets were, values were inflated. But what's key here is what the AG has been saying. Let's listen to Letitia James. Let's get your reaction to this. The president of the United States has complained that I'm engaging in some sort of political witch hunt, that I've got some personal vendetta against him, that I campaigned against him. That is not true. I look forward to going into the office of attorney general every day, suing him, defending your rights, and then going home. We're going to be a real pain in the What do you say to that? Yeah, we will rise up together. That gives me a lot of faith in the justice system. I mean, this is the chief law enforcement officer for the state of New York. She is supposed to be, at a minimum, uh, putting forth a semblance of neutrality. They take oaths to uphold the law, to neutrally apply the law in an even-handed fashion without regard to partisan considerations. And that is the opposite of what is happening here. You think you can go to the Supreme Court? I think they'll appeal it to the New York appellate courts. The problem is, uh, they're, uh, in New York, judges are elected, and they're all Democrats. And I say the problem, and I re the reason I say the problem is because in order for a Democrat, uh, one of these judges, to side with the former president, they would have to break rank. That's a hard thing to do mm -hmm. in, in this culture, in this society. And so I'm very concerned about the president because at the end of the day, what's on the line is his ability to, and his children's ability, to make a living mm -hmm. in the state of New York. Kerry Kupek, you're so smart. Come back soon. <laughs> Thank that you. That was great analysis. Kerry Kupek, Urban.